گلشیفت فراهانی From Iran to Hollywood Rahavard Farahani, known professionally as Gulshift Farahani, is an Iranian actress born 10th of July 1983 in Tehran. The daughter of Behzad Farahani, a theater director and actor, and Fahime Raiminia. Her sister is actress, Shagayek Farahani. Gulshift began studying music and piano at age 5 and later entered the music school in Tehran. She has a diploma in music from the Comprehensive University of Applied Sciences and a diploma in graphics from the Visual Arts Conservatory. After graduating, she received a scholarship to the Vienna Conservatory and she puts it, decided to spend the rest of her life in the cinema while holding a Vienna ticket. Goldschiff Farahani is familiar with English and French. She started acting in cinema in 1997 with a movie, Pure Tree, directed by Darius Mercury. She also starred in other films such as Zamane, Boutique, Cold Tears, In the Name of the Father, Meme Like the Mother, We Cut, Santuri, and About Ellie. She is the youngest actor to receive the Crystal Seymour at the Fash Film Festival. The Pier Tree won her the Best Actress Award at the International Fash Film Festival in 1997 at the age of 14. She has appeared in over 35 films, many of which have received international recognition. She was nominated for the Most Promising Actress Award for the Patient Stone at the 2014 César Awards in France and won the Best Actress Award for Boutique from 26th Nantes Three Continents Festival, France. In recent years, she has had prominent roles in movies by well-known Iranian and international directors, including Asghar Farhadi, Bahman Kobali, Rasul Molagulipur, Jim Jarmusch, Ridley Scott, Joachim Roning and Sven Sandberg. She started in a drama about Ellie, which won Best Pictures at the 2009 Tribeca Film Festival and a Silver Beer at the Berlin International Film Festival. After Farahani's appearance in the Hollywood movie Body of Lies, it was reported that government authorities had prevented her from leaving Iran. She has not been allowed to return and work in Iran since 2009 and has since resided in France. I realized that I preferred being in Europe, in the middle of the world, she said. Being in exile is like being in an ocean. Your only choice is to swim or you'll die. I think the best and worst moment of my life was to leave Iran. It was the worst. It was painful. It was full of wounds. At the same time, it made me peak. I am now a French citizen and a European citizen. I was lucky to be able to find out where I live after going to different countries like the United States. Farahani said she cannot return to Iran because of my feelings, because I'm a woman, for not wearing the veil, she said. Everything I did when I left Iran became like a political act. When it was not the case, she added, I wasn't a politician or an activist. I was just an actress, a female actress. If I were a man, I would have taken a different path. In Hollywood, she has co-starred with famous actors such as Adam Driver, Antonio Banderas, Johnny Depp, Brian Cranston, Nicole Kidman, and Chris Hemsworth. In the last days of 2020, the IMDb website published a list of the most popular emerging stars of world cinema over the past 20 months, with Farhani at number 8 on the list. In Iran, she was a member of Kuch Neshin, a band that won the second Tehran Avenue Underground Rock competition, 
After leaving Iran, Golshifta Farhani also works in the field of singing and perform songs such as Silence, In Search of Destiny, and Accept You. Loving for the Fino fit Abraham Malov and Marza Pulgohar fit indirect musician Ali Azimi. She has teamed up with another exiled Iranian musician, Mohsen Namju. Their album Oi was released in October 2009. In 2012, Goldshifter's controversial half naked photos were published in Madame Figaro magazine by a French photographer. These photos received more than 40 million views in less than two days. A short film was also released about her and 15 other young actors nominated for the Cesar Award for Best Talented Actor, showing them undressing, which attracted media attention. In 2020, Golshita Farhani reached first place in the top 10 list of the most popular celebrities of IMDb users after starring in the movie Extraction. It co-started with Chris Hemsworth in Extraction. In a list recently released by Netflix, Extraction was ranked number one on the company's list of the top 10 most watched movies with 99 million views. Golshifta Farahani was nominated for 100 Beautiful Women in 2021 by TC Candler website. This list is much more watched than People Magazine, Squire, Askman, Maxim, FHM, and any other internet beauty list in recent years. Golshifta Farahani has always been introduced by TC Candler list as the most beautiful women of the year in recent years. Rank 5 in 2015 Rank 4 in 2016, Rank 9 in 2017, Rank 22 in 2018, Rank 45 in 2019, Rank 51 in 2020. The list of 100 beautiful women of 2021 will be published in December 2021. Golshita Farahani recently collaborated with the Cardia brand and introduced a seven-shaped necklace with a black and white checkered pattern. The necklace is decorated with diamonds, agate, and black crystal stone. She has previously collaborated with its brand in 2018 and 2019. Angelina Julie and Monica Blucci, our other prominent Hollywood stars, have also collaborated with Cartier. Goldshifter's latest role is in a sci-fi series called Invasion. The story of the series is about the invasion of space aliens from different perspectives by different characters, and Goldshifter is supposed to play the role of a Syrian refugee mother named Anisha Malek, who has immigrated to the United States. It is set to premiere on Apple TV Plus on October 22, 2021. Thank you.